Hi, I'm Andy from Steinberg and I'm happy to be here at DV247 today to talk about seven of the new features that are included in Cubase 7. So on this website, uh, you'll find seven feature videos uh, that offer you some, some insights and also some tips and tricks into things like the new Mix console, the customizable new console that's in, inside of Cubase, uh, the new channel strip, the new plugins that are always included in new releases, um, things like the new chord track and chord and analyzer, the harmonizer, which allows us to harmonize audio and MIDI files, and a basic general overview of all the new exciting features that we've included in the box. So check them out, I hope you enjoy them. Okay, so if you have a look on the uh, Cubase forums, you'll see a lot of people requesting, uh, or a lot of people have requested some major changes to our mix window. So we've listened to those, and what we've actually done is completely redesigned the whole entire uh, mix, I guess, engine or window on Cubase, and now we have the mix console. So if you have a look at my project window here, you can see that I can now have faders down the bottom of my screen. So at the moment, I'm working on a laptop. If I'm in the studio, I might be working on, you know, two to four different monitors. So I need to have my meters uh, sitting there easily accessible um, and, and in, I guess in, an, in a nice view so that I can easily monitor what's going on with my track. So let's just have a look now what happens when I expand my track. So you can see it's completely new. Everything's changed. But don't be scared because it's actually quite an easy adjustment. Um, and, and once you're into it, I can guarantee that you're actually going to enjoy working with this mixer. So you can see at the moment we've got some, some, some large transparent meters there. But I just want to give you a quick overview and show you, I guess, a few tips and tricks on working with this mixer. So in my top left hand corner, I can actually go to my inspector and I can, I can turn on, I guess, the visibility of particular features within the mix window. So if I want, I can see a channel overview up the top there. I can see a meter bridge if I want. So don't forget that I can completely customize this window. So if I just want to see the meter bridge and have that on monitor one, then I can do that as well. Things like EQ curve, we can change that. I'll talk about that later. Channel racks, that's a new thing. We can add pictures, a notepad, so as we're going through the mix or as we're tracking, we can actually start to make notes on particular instruments or particular facets of the mix that we're tracking. Most importantly though, on the left hand side here, you can see the channel selector. So let's click on that. So the channel selector is a completely new concept within a mixer. So if I'm working with, as you look at this project, it's a, I guess it's quite a moderate project. There's about you know, 70 tracks in it. So that's a fair few tracks. Now if you're working within a mixer on a small screen, it's very easy, easy to get lost. Um, so if I say want to jump to the kick drum or jump to the snare or jump to a, you know, a violin, in the past I would have had to scroll through it. Now basically I can just open my group or my track folder and click on the violin track that I want to see. So now I can start working with that particular track. In addition to that, we've got this nice new feature. So if I hold down uh, the command button, now I can select individual tracks. Whereas before we could only select tracks I guess that we're sitting next to the actual track that we want to work with. So it's very easy now to select individual tracks and start editing with them. One of the cool things about this is we've got this new link, link feature. So if I just wanted to link those tracks, I can now click on the channel link settings. And you can see now I can select everything that I want to link together within my mix or within these particular tracks that I've selected. So if I want to select EQ, now everything that I do to the EQ on one track will affect everything that I've done to the EQ on every other track. So I don't need to set up groups. I can just very easily hold down command or shift if the tracks are in succession and actually start editing with these groups. So that's, that's always been a very handy feature, the, the ability to link tracks, but it has been frustrating at times when you just want to make a quick change to one channel. So now if we want to, we can click on suspend and we can suspend that link. So now whatever I do to this individual channel here will uh, correspond to that channel. So if I take it off again, if I hold down control, sorry not control and just move these up, you can see that now I can just edit all the tracks in that group very quickly. 